Well guys, thought I'd do a, a new uh, segment called What's in the Bag. Uh, I went shopping at the dollar store. For you UK guys, you probably don't have that. Maybe you do have something similar to it, but basically it's just a, usually it's just a little small mom and pop shop and they sell things that are re at anything like around a dollar to two dollars depending on the product but mostly it's all surplus goods that other departments didn't want to sell and sometimes it's just stuff that got shipped over to be sold here so anyways here's my big bag of stuff that I bought at the dollar store and I'll just unveil them one at a time first thing I bought was this nice little grass mat thing uh, came with a plastic back to it that I'll just probably just rip the pieces off as I need them. I was thinking these could work great for tall shoots of grass. It's kind of hard to move a unit inside of it like this, but uh, anyways. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, I can just pull off one or two of these at a time, glue them on to whatever I'm using for a base, um, or not base, but for a terrain piece, so that way I can have tall grass. Uh, so, I don't know. The, everybody who I play with, they all like, at least I do, I like to have my cover save when I got my squishy dark elders running around so if I can get some tall grass for a cover save even if it's just a five cover save it's a save regardless so maybe I'm just making this train to embellish my needs but anyways so that's the one item next item I bought let's see here oh and this was priced at dollar nineteen some decorative moss so I can throw that on the edge of some ruins and stuff don't know how well it's gonna work it looks kind of like huh moss that's for sure but, I mean that's a big bag and it's kind of leaking over my desk right now but uh this was for two bucks and I got all that so you know I can use it for flocking or who knows what just pull little pieces out and then throw it down so that's the second item I bought third item I bought some toothpicks for building terrain and then also um, they come with these little dispensers they got little holes in there and I'm thinking you know I could use that for shaking flock on my terrains so I got two purposes out of it Toothpicks for building terrain, like so I can put foam pieces together for stability, and then I got a little shaker out of it too. And this was a uh, dollar twenty-nine for that. Then I picked up some skewers, bamboo skewers. I'll probably uh, make some trees out of this. Maybe I saw a, a YouTube video just recently. Oh, I can't think of the guy's site right now. He's a Canadian. Uh, does a lot of rambling in his videos. But uh, the stuff he shows is really good. And he had an episode about filing down some wooden dolls and then putting some kind of torn up sponges on it. So I'm going to try to do that. I have to buy some sponges that I can pair tear apart for the spruce trees but I'm definitely looking to give a goal with these uh, smaller trunks maybe I might need a thicker one but I got some thicker dolls from when I built my magnetic bases for my raiders and that was a dollar nineteen the next item I got was fighter I don't know it's some kind of army set stuff I don't even think so. Well, it's got English written on it, but I don't think it was made for for Americans. I don't know. Maybe it is made in China. That's for sure. But anyways, I got this thing for dollar twenty nine. 
29. It's got a pretty scalable uh, little hut out of it for a base. It's got a can in there that could probably be used could be used for a uh, terrain piece. It's even got like a little mash, a yards uh, you know direction sign there. The other thing I thought was cool. Can't see. Well, there's some sandbags in here, and well, let's open it up here. So, first item that. So there's a little thing that could be used for a caption control base. Paint it whatever color you want for your scheme. You can put your your uh, army symbol all over it. Decorate it. So I. Got that. I, there's a gun that could be put into something used for planetary game or something. And there's the sandbags. And it looks like it's decent size scale. I mean, here's there's a troop. So that came, the kit came with two of those. So there we go, we got our little sandbags. Even has razor wire. So those nasty orcs will get cut up going through the razor wire. And we got a little ammo. Look at that. That's pretty slick. Little ammo box. Oh, my razor wire fell down. Looks like I have to build some better bases for that. But look at this. This is a, this is what caught my eye. The barrel. Doesn't that look kind of familiar? Well, it's got the same kind of seams. It's just missing a little round dot in the center. Looks pretty familiar to me. There's another barrel. There's another barrel. Another barrel. So this thing came with four barrels. Uh, looks like I got another box of some sort. And I don't know what that is. Maybe you military guys will know what that is. Looks like it came with another piece to it. Could be a tank trap. And a little gas tank too. I think uh, one of the old uh, sets used to come out with that too. Oh, here's my uh, my little mash direction. Maybe I'll paint some stuff on there. This way to sugar lips. If you folks haven't seen the show MASH, then you won't understand that, but uh, it was a show that I grew up with. And that's it. And then you got a bunch of, you know, guys that came with it. May or may not be used later. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice little sign. I mean, flag. Could use that for an objective marker. Ooh. Another uh, gas tank. So there, that's that's what came in that. And since I saw all that terrain pieces that came with it when I bought it, I bought two sets. I don't think you can get. I don't think you can get that uh, army set from GW for a buck twenty nine that has barrels and tank traps or whatever else have you. So, pretty good deal. I mean, razor wire. Ah, five plus cover save. If when it stands, five plus cover save. Of course, the Marines going. Why would you need five plus cover save? And the Dark Elder would be saying because I have crappy armor. I want to be able to live to see tomorrow. So, anyways. There you go, folks. A segment of what's in the bag. Talk to you later.
Kill the unpainted one. Oh, come on.